Hey you, it's Jess here and welcome back to my channel. Today we have a very different thing for you. I thought you would like to see this just in case, but this is my Disneyland Paris haul. So all the cute fun stuff that I bought at Disneyland Paris, I didn't buy too much, but I bought like enough. So basically we went, um, we basically just spent one day in Disneyland and then we did um we stayed at a Disneyland hotel Newport Bay so they also had a boutique there so we did some shopping there as well at the end before we went home um and we only had carry on like it, luggage so that um limited us which was good <laughs> it was good to limit myself but I still bought a fair few good things so uh, I thought I'd just hold them because, you know, maybe you just want interested in to see what I got. Obviously, it's not very plannery, but there's some stuff that will do with my planner. But maybe if you're just curious. So this is the stuff I bought at Disneyland Paris. Um, so first of all, I'll get the, like, um, home things done. First of all, I bought this, well, Luck got this mug for our mug collection. It's slightly 3D, and of course, it is the... OG Star Wars and we bought this in Star Traders which was you know you come out of Star Tours and you're in the shop and we really liked this one there was a spirit jersey that I was into for the rebellion but it said across the back Star Wars Rise of the Resistance and I was like nope <laughs> ruined <laughs> Uh, I'm one of those people I don't want to get into debates but the only prequel I was into was The Last Jedi um, and of the newer films, I really like Rogue One, and I watched three episodes of Mandalorian, I watched one, two episodes of, um, Ben Kenobi's show, Obi-Wan, and we we're interested in Andor because we did like Rogue One, so I can't say I'm that big into the newer Star Wars stuff. I do love the, sorry, I meant sequels originally. Uh, the Last Jedi sequel. I did love the prequels. They came out as, when I was a kid, obviously. and I, But I watched the OG trilogy before the prequels came out. So the OG is all the way. Um, although you know, I really love the prequels too. But we saw this and like, it has the OG and it's a really cool mug. Pretty big. And it's also like um, dishwasher and oven safe. I can't remember the price anymore. 15 euros it was. So expensive, but uh, Block wanted, we actually had two mugs recently. One of them is pr the print like is all gone and the other one we're going to retire. So we wanted a replacement mug. So we're looking for two, but we ended up just with this one. But that was a Star Wars mug. And then the other um, fragile item was this plate. It's very simple. And um, you can see it's like a slight lip and we we saw this in the boutique at the hotel and we thought this would be perfect as um, a cat plate to feed our cat Heidi because she doesn't like bowls with high edges. Um, and she's sensitive with her whiskers and things so we, we have to be very careful about what we use as a bowl for her food because she'll just take the food out of the bowl <laughs> and eat off the floor and makes a huge mess. So we thought this would be a perfect bowl um, because it's like a more lit plate and this is also dishwasher and oven safe. This was eight euros. Oh, and it says it's actually exclusive to Disneyland Paris. So that is cool. I mean, I would have liked a better color or anything, but I don't know. We saw it like this would be a perfect plate for Heidi, so we got it for her. Um, and then I'll get the big thing out of the way. I got a... Red Panda Mei Mei plushie. This is as most zoomed out as I can go, so you can see how big she is. She's a big girl, and I like how she has a big bouncy tail, and she's got it, but look how cute her face is. Like, oh, she's so squishy. And her, like, um, she's sort of, like, in a sitting position. You can see that, and she has her arms, like, sewn down, but, um... It's really high quality, really cute, and I just, I saw her in a pile in, it was a shop that's attached to the Buzz Lightyear laser thingy, and we just saw her and we're like, yeah, that's, <laughs> I wrote it down to pick up later in the day because 
She's just too cute and she just fit into Locke's backpack. They took like this and one other item <laughs> um, in their backpack and yeah, so she, was, she just fit in a backpack and look at these big ears, they're so cute. And this is like soft velvety and that's just such a high quality beautiful plush. And yeah, I love turning red and May May, so um, that was this one. And this was a bit more expensive, 40 euros, but look at her, she's so cute. And she's gonna go with my other Disney plushes. I kind of only really have Disney plushes. I have a Lucifer, the cat from Cinderella, who's just about as big as this actually. And I have, what else is up there? <laughs> I have a Figaro from Pinocchio, but he's a Halloween version, so he's in a pumpkin, which this year they did Groot for that, but I much prefer Figaro. And I also have an Olaf and the stitches up there, but I don't think our stitch is um, official, but one day I'll get an official stitch. They had a huge stitch that was like as big as half of my body, and I'm glad I didn't have... Um, check in because I would have been really tempted but yeah so I got this Mei Mei and she was super adorable just had to get a plushie <laughs> but yeah she's she's gigantic and then another gigantic item was this throw blanket it's 130 by 160 centimeters um, which is not terrible my height is so if you want to know and you don't know centimeters um, I'm 5'9", which makes me 175 centimeters, so it's a little bit shorter than me. Um, but this is actually the 30th anniversary design, and uh, that's why we picked this one up. It's 30 euros, and while we thought winter's going to be cold this year, you know, there's the energy stuff going on in Europe, so we thought we might as well get another blanket. And it, yeah, Disneyland Paris 30th anniversary is on this year, so we thought this would be the best design because it's like the most exclusive and I love the purples on it like look how cute this is and I love the purples this is the Mickey you can see like the colors in here the blues and the purples and the pinks are really cool in here it's kind of like the um, I like how the colors for the 50th anniversary in Florida are similar as well and they're super cute so that is the throw that we got looks really high quality so I can't wait to open that up um, and then oh, the, we got one of the shopping bags because you got to buy a reusable bag if you want one um, and this is the 30th anniversary bag 30 years of magic so you can see that this is like the Robinson Caruso treehouse that they have Big Thunder Mountain and also their castle on the back side you have the Walt Disney Studios and then they're like they have the Avengers campus there which whatever <laughs> we didn't even go to Walt Disney Studios in the end but that was the reusable bag I can't remember I think it was four euros and then um, I have some smaller stuff here I'm trying to put the bag out of the way so I bought one jumper which um, I wanted like a specific jumper from Paris so I got a Phantom Manor jumper and it is glow in the dark and obviously Phantom Manor is the Paris version of Haunted Mansion and it's completely different well it has all of the same like elements like the ballroom and the singing heads and they sing the same song um, and in English not in French which is interesting but they have like a whole story about the bride Melanie which I'll show you more in a second. But yeah, so I wanted something to do with this ride because I have a Haunted Mansion spirit jersey from um, Anaheim. So this was 40 euros. And it's just a gray sw like jumper sweater, crew neck. And this is the design on the front, which obviously these windows in the lap are, um, are glow in the dark. And it looks like a skull but it's actually the scene with the Phantom Banner and like the graveyard. I thought that was so fun. And the best thing I thought was the sleeve. It says a Phantom Manor down the sleeve. I thought that'd be cute in videos as well. So you can see that. 
I love the name Phantom Manor. That's really cool. Um, but yeah, so I got this jumper. Looks super cozy. I got the biggest size I could get, which was XXL. Um, they don't have three XLs that I saw. So just if you're interested and if you're going and need sizes. But yeah, I thought this was a super cute jumper. I'm actually wearing um, the 2022 Halloween spirit jersey from Disneyland, um, US Disney Store. I bought the, they obviously have Disneyland and Disney World versions, but this is the Happy Halloween non-park version, which I wore on the day at Disneyland Paris. And I did get asked like where I got it from. <laughs> and I felt bad because I got it from the US store, but yeah. And then the second day, when we went to the hotel, I changed into my Haunted Mansion spirit jersey. And someone who worked there, like our waiter, asked me where I got that one from. And I was like, oh, it's this, the United States Haunted Mansion. But yeah, so that was funny. <laughs> so if you wear like overseas spirit jerseys, you'll probably get asked about it. Um, they did have, oh, they had a really pretty purple 30th anniversary Paris spirit jersey, but on the shop and in store that I saw, like all the bigger sizes were sold out. So that was a little disappointing, but I can live without it. <laughs> I've already got two. And I got the Phantom Manor jumper. So I did get some pins, and they were all Halloween pins. Um, so first of all, we got the Eeyore and Tigger pack here. Look how cute. I love the black and white and orange and Tigger and Eeyore are actually my two favorite Winnie the Pooh characters so I was very happy that they were in a pack together in lock store and it's like you need those Eeyore and Tigger. And then of course I had to get a Lucifer. <laughs> Lucifer being like my favorite. Um, so do these have the prices on them or not? I'm not sure. They do say Disneyland Paris on them though. I don't know if they're like, you can't get them from other Disneys, but they might just be packaged for Paris specifically. Um, but this one, yeah, I already have a Lucifer from, in 2019 I went to Anaheim and they had a whole pack of like, um, I think it was like eight cats. And my friend and Kylie and I like went, um, half and half on it so I took half the cats and she took half the cats and I have a Lucifer from that but now I have a little Halloween Lucifer and then I thought this was really fun um, this was a Daisy from Phantom Manor so she's playing the bride um, Melanie and yeah I just really love the idea so it references obviously the story of Phantom Manor and I don't actually have a Daisy pin or anything at all and I love Daisy and Donald so very happy to add that to my collection. So those are the pins that I picked up. And then um, I splurged a little bit and I bought two of the face masks. You know, they're completely overpriced. Six euros each. Um, and I can get them from like one euro from the local Asian beauty store. But they just, they were fun. And I was like, I'm splurging. I'm going to try these out there. I'm not going to buy them again, so why not? So I've, I saw this stitch one, and this is passion fruit extract, and known to help feel fresh and rejuvenated. So it's a passion fruit sheet mask. That's really cute. Oh, it looks like stitch. That's the funny part. That'll be fun to put on. And then they had a whole range of villains ones for Halloween. So I picked up the Queen of Mean, so the Snow White Queen, um, because I really liked the ingredients of it. So it's an apple um, mask. An apple is known for containing antioxidants, which help promote radiant and glowing complexion. Really the thing with sheet masks is, is that they're just extra moisturization and a little bit of fun, you know. Um, sometimes they have good syrups, serums on them, but I think most of the time they're just for extra, um, you know, extra moisturization in your routine and then look at the beautiful packaging I love that it's hollow but yeah it looks like you look like the queen from Snow White so that'll be fun to try those on and then I also picked up I saw this book in 
um, the Hotel Boutique, and it's called Phantom Manor um, Decrypted. And it just looks so beautiful. Like, look at this beautiful foiling. Like, it's um, it is stamped in there. And yeah, I just I was drawn to the book. It wasn't too big. Um, it was twenty two euros, and it's actually like the story of and the the imagineering of Phantom Manor, and it is in both French and English. So they actually sell this sign here, which was really cool, but. Our bags are not big enough. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, so like the whole thing of Frontierland there is that Phantom Manor, Thunder Mountain Railroad, all of it's connected in the Thunder Mesa. So that was really cool. And it has like all like um, different art and photos and some bits and pieces about the ride. It's very cool. I really liked this version of Haunted Mansion. Look and see how they were um, designing it here. Um, and there's like, a, there's like, it has the same opening thing with like the, the extending um, inside, but it's all different inside, like different wallpapers. And then there was different paintings. And just, it was very cool. And they said that the, um, they used a laugh in the ride from Vincent Price, which was very neat. And yeah, you have like all the bride elements. Um, yeah, so I thought it'd be fun. And then all the ballroom scene is actually her like wedding reception. I thought that was really fun. Um, but yeah, so that was like information about the actual ride. And instead of like ghosts and goblins, like ghosts and ghoulies, you go actually out into the Mesa town and they're all like undead animatronics. That's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so I thought that'd be really, really fun. And I'm look, look at this beautiful illustration of the area. But yeah, I thought I definitely want to read this to see the story of the ride and also how it came about because that stuff is super interesting. Plus, it's just a really cool looking book that I think would be fun to display. So I got that. And now we're almost done. We have, first of all, I bought this postcard. Um, it's a 30th anniversary postcard. And you know I bought this because look at the hollow. <laughs> Plus the beautiful design and then the fireworks are glittery. Really pretty. Just a normal actual like postcard. And then we got a postcard at our hotel. Just this simple Newport Bay one, but I thought I would actually um, punch both of these so they can go on my in the week in my planner. And I was thinking maybe I would print off some of my photos and put them on the back. I thought that would be really fun to have like a little memento included in my in my planner. So I'm probably going to do that. But yeah, so pretty. I just love the designs for the 30th. And then from my hotel room, I stole the pen. Because <laughs> who doesn't? And it's a pretty good ballpoint. Um, pretty high quality. It's just one of those. And yeah, so I stole the pen. So there you go. And then our official documents. Um, and then our official documents came in this envelope, which I included, but has, you know, information about our reservation in there. So... That was fun, and then we also were given this when we checked in, the Lighthouse Journal, and it just information about the hotel, and we just thought it was kind of fun, and we thought we'd like, I could cut bits out of it, maybe this one, and for little sailors, we thought that was kind of funny. It has like the different restaurants, we did go to Cape Cod, and we did spend a, f a few times in the in, in the bar and in the back this is like the map and they show you how to get to your room so we were 5174 in the west wing of the hotel pretty nice like little corner room but yeah so that's how they tell that's how you get the information about the hotel when you check in and i know that's just stuff we saved so that was everything i got at um, Phantom Manor. <laughs> that was everything I got from Disneyland Paris. Um, 
give this a big thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe uh, if you haven't already um, this is like the end of the Disney stuff going back into my planning things but yeah I'm super excited uh, I think I got pretty like usable things we're trying to get more functional stuff than just like you know the other things that you have um, bubble blowers and things even though they look cool but yeah so that was it um, Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Oh, and don't forget there's a Disney vlog on the channel already, um, so if you haven't watched it, go back on my channel and you'll find it very easily. I think it was like the last video, so yeah. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!